Chanak Enoch 91. And now, my son Methuselah, call to me all your brethren, and assemble for me all the children of your mother. For a voice calls me, and the Ruach is poured out upon me, that I may show you everything which shall happen to you forever. Then Methuselah went, called to him all his brethren, and assembled his kindred. And conversing with all his children in truth, said, Hear, my children, every word of your father, and listen in uprightness to the voice of my mouth. For I would gain your attention while I address you. My beloved, be attached to integrity and walk in it. Approach not integrity with a double heart, nor be associated with double-minded men, but walk, my children, in righteousness which will conduct you in good paths, and let truth be your companion. For I know that oppression will exist and prevail on earth, that on earth great punishment shall in the end take place, and that there shall be a consummation of all iniquity, which shall be cut off from its root. And every fabric shall pass away. Iniquity, however, shall again be renewed and consummated on earth. Every act of crime and every act of oppression and impiety shall be a second time embraced. When, therefore, iniquity, sin, blasphemy, Tyranny and every work shall increase, and transgression, impiety, and uncleanness also shall increase. Upon them all shall great punishment be inflicted from heaven. The holy Yahuwah shall go forth in wrath, and upon them all shall great punishment from heaven be inflicted. The holy Yahuwah shall go forth in wrath and with punishment that he may execute judgment upon earth. In those days, oppression shall be cut off from its roots and iniquity with fraud will be eradicated, perishing from under heaven. All the idols of the nations shall be surrendered with its inhabitants. With fire shall it be burnt. They shall be brought from every part of the earth and be cast into a judgment of fire. They shall perish in wrath and by a judgment overpowering them forever. Righteousness shall be raised up from slumber, and wisdom shall be raised up and conferred upon them. Then shall the roots of iniquity be cut off. Sinners perish by the sword, and blasphemers be annihilated everywhere. Those who meditate oppression and those who blaspheme by the sword shall perish. And now, my children, I will describe and point out to you the path of righteousness and the path of oppression. I will again point them out to you that you may know what is to come. Hear now, my children, and walk in the path 
of righteousness, but shun that of oppression. For all who walk in the path of iniquity shall perish forever.